one way to avoid the residual stresses which generates in quenching and can lead to quench cracks which we discussed uh, in the last video is a uh, heat treatment called mar quenching or mar tempering. Both names are used or the mar quenching is probably the better name we will see why. So, we have seen that the residual stress develops because the component size is large and the inside the red line cools slower than the outside the green line the surface. So, when the surface has formed martensite the inside is still warm at that time and it is still austenite and when that austenite wants to transform to martensite the volume expansion is registered and residual stresses and cracks may generate. But then you can see that this was happening because the whole sample was not able to transform to martensite at the same time. The surface transformed first and subsequently the inside transform. So, if we can some way equalize the temperature of surface and inside then this problem can be removed. And fortunately the TTT diagram shows us a way out of this that if we just see above the martensite temperature there is a long time interval in which there is no transformation happening. Before bainite starts to form we have lot of time available for not a lot of time available without any transformation. So, this time can be used to equalize the temperature of surface and inside of a component. This is the philosophy or idea behind mar quenching or mar tempering. So, what we do is instead of quenching, so this was a surface which was cooling faster and this was the inside which was cooling much slowly. Now, instead of cooling all the way below M s and M f to form martensite, we interrupt the quench here. So, our quenchant is held at a temperature above M s. And similarly, the inside now because we are not cooling directly, the inside will also maybe this diagram also needs to be modified from here because now the quench and temperature is higher. So, this is the quench and temperature let us call that T q. So, because the quench ant is held at a temperature higher than M s both there will be time enough for the inside and the outside to come to the same temperature. And then once they are at the same temperature they can again be cooled and can be cooled much more slowly there is no requirement for quenching now. Recall that the requirement for quenching to produce martensite was because of this small gate which we had here at the nose. So, we had only one second this, tem this time is about one second and the temperature was 550 degrees Celsius. So, in less than one second we should cool below 550 degrees Celsius to avoid the nodge. But once we have done that there is no need to keep on maintaining that high cooling rate down to produce martensite. We can use this uh, non transforming region just above M s to hold the sample and equalize the temperature. And after that again there is no further need for rapid quenching a slow cooling will also give us martin side. And now I am drawing a single curve only although there will be temperature difference uh, is still between inside and outside, but that difference will not be very high because we have allowed 
the time for temperature equalization and we are cooling at a much slower rate. So, this, this interrupted quench is called Mar quenching So, like quenching, Mar quenching is also producing martensite, but it is avoiding the problem of generation of residual stresses and avoiding the problem of quench crap. Mar quenching is also called Mar tempering. So, the two terms are synonymous, but Mar quenching is a better term because like quenching, quenching produces martensite, mar quenching also produces martensite. So, both are actually quenching technique, only in mar quenching we are interrupting the quench above M s and then uh, cooling it again and this avoids the uh, residual stresses and cracks as we saw. Mar tempering can also be used for this uh, um, process. But remember, we discussed tempering and in tempering a quenched martensite was again reheated, but in mar tempering there is no such a step. So, sometimes mar tempering can confuse us with tempering, there is no tempering involved, mar tempered specimen again has to be heat treated and tempered. So, mar tempering does not involve tempering, tempering has to follow mar tempering. So, I will recommend mark quenching as a better word for this process.